Hey guys, Eileen here and today I have a video for you. One of my favorite types of videos to watch is a haul video. I think it's just so fun to see all the stuff, you know, that's out there and that people get. So I have a haul today, three boxes. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, let me see. So we're going to start with the smallest and least exciting box. This one is from usagondamstore.com. So, I'm going to open that up. And take a look. And in here, I have two Mr. Super Clear UV Cut. And these are basically spray sealants that I use to spray my um, custom dolls that I make. Um, you seal, you can use it to seal um, the face up and the soft pastels. So the next box is from Jerry's Artorama, and I got a box, you know, from Jerry's Artorama and also from Bullock Art Materials. And I ordered them on the same day, and I'm happy to report that they arrived on the same day, and it took less than a week to get them, maybe four days, I'm not sure. And that was with the free shipping option. So that's, you know, if you can get the free shipping, depending on how much you buy or what sales they have, that's definitely a good way to go, because they still get there pretty quick. And I just want to show you how it's packaged. So it's, kind of like, it's packaged really well. So let's see what's inside. So Jerry's Artorama, one of the things I like about them is they have this like buy it, try it type things where you get all this stuff for either like a dollar or two dollars. And they had, you know, they have a lot of brushes there too. So I definitely took advantage of that option. Um, I just, the only thing I don't like about it is they're not labeled when they get here. So I'm going to have to look up um, online again which brushes go with which type of thing um, this is a bristle brush so I'm gonna use that for my oil paints because I do acrylics and I use oils and I use um, watercolors so and all of those need different brushes especially you know I wouldn't want to use a watercolor brush for my oil paintings obviously so this feels like it's nice and long and it's pretty firm so I'm pretty sure that's for the oils and then the two longer handled ones are probably mostly for acrylics but maybe I could get away with using okay so these two the two long ones are for oils and then these like soft ones are for watercolors and then these are probably can go either for acrylics or oils or watercolors but I'll have to look it up online just to double check so I don't ruin any of the brushes so that was the brushes I wanted to try um, then I got this thing it's a mixed media tone tan and it looks like it's a paper pad I'm not even sure I paid attention to that or realized that so it's so it's very nice thick paper. I actually like the Strathmore mixed media paper. It's a very thick, yeah, it's 184 pound, 300 GSM. And I like the size, it's small. It was only three something. So it kind of gives me the opportunity to try tone tan mixed media paper um, at a reasonable price. I have this size in tone tan ske sketch paper which is just for pencils and pastels and pastel pencils, but this you can use um, paint and whatever, you know, any type of paint, water media, whatever you want on this paper. I have a theory that the Strathmore mixed media paper is basically um, hot press watercolor paper because they, their watercolor paper is cold press paper. Um, and they don't have a hot press watercolor paper. So my theory is their mixed media paper is watercolor paper. It's just hot press because it's smooth. So I don't know if anybody else would agree with me or what. <laughs> but okay, I have a little tube like this. What do we got here? Oh, I got the M Graham. What is 
and not focusing. Focus camera. Okay, uh, the M Gram Artist Gouache, because I've been wanting to try good quality gouache. I actually have a cheap gouache from Michaels. I might, you know, if you guys want me, I can do a review on that, but I wanted to try the good kind, so I got one. And then I figured if I end up getting more gouache at some point, you know, you can never go wrong with getting extra gouache. That's white because, you know, you're going to use up a lot of white. This is 15 milliliters. It's a pretty small tube, but I guess... Also, you can use the gouache with watercolor paints as highlights. Some people just put like a, a half pan of white gouache into their watercolor palettes. And another option is if you mix watercolors into this, you almost can get a gouache out of it. You just basically use the watercolor to color this gouache and you get kind of pastel looking gouaches out of it. So it's a good way to just try gouache and see if you like it without getting spending a lot on getting a gouache set. Just get the white one and try it. So I got that. Maybe I'll, people like to kind of do this when they have a haul as they keep everything in focus. They can see everything. Um, and I got this. Oh, I like this. This was like, I don't know how much it was, like a dollar something. It's a little cup that clips on. And they had one that was like two, two of these. So you could have two cups that clip on. But I just got the one because... Uh, when I travel, I like to keep things as light as possible, and this is actually really light. So you can use this and take it and clip it onto either your palette or your sketchbook when you're, you know, watercoloring out and about, and then have just a tiny bit of water in there, which is actually the perfect amount for me, because if you're using, um, like, a water brush, you don't need a ton of water. Like, this would be enough for a water brush or even a regular brush, but really... You know, especially for a, for a water rush, just to kind of wet it so you don't have to keep squeezing it all the time. So this is actually, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy that it's like, it's very light. Yay. Okay. And then the other stuff I got is just a bunch of um, painting surfaces. And this was some kind of buy it, try it thing too, actually. It was a whole bunch of these little 4 by 6 ones. Yeah, it was like a set that you buy at a special price. It's four by six. They're not super thick, but then again, they're not very big, so they don't need to be that thick. So it was the four by six set, and you get a birch, a resist grip, ultra smooth gessoed panel, and then medium textured gesso panel. So I thought it would be a nice way to try all the different surfaces. Plus, I like painting small, so it's actually pretty good for me. Definitely going to use all these pretty quickly um so this is what i'm this is usually my favorite it's just the plain background and then i don't know what that is hopefully it's not on the panel um this is some kind of resist grip oh this is a coarse textured gesso panel i don't know if you can see um yeah it would be hard to see but it's like coarse textured and then this is ultra smooth, already gessoed. And then this is this has just a little bit of a texture to it. So I thought that would be good to try. Then I got um, birch panels because they had a great sale on these panels. These are actually pretty expensive, you know, um, kind of to begin with. So um, I went ahead and got them since they were having a big sale. So I got five by seven with the really thick sides. I like the thick sides because you can decorate the sides then too. And then I got six by eight, also same size sides and um, the same surface. And then six by 12, which is a really fun size. I like this one. I've had this one before and um, only once and that was really fun because you can draw like a tall person and um, so it's kind of a fun size to work with I just think it's fun to have like different sizes and then you um, you know get to experiment with different types of subjects and stuff so finally we're getting down to the last box 
but it's also the, I don't know if it's the biggest box by size, but it's, it was, it cost the most out of the three. Um, although I didn't spend, you know, a ton or anything. Like all this stuff was, all the stuff from Jerry's was about 35. I think it was exactly 35 because that was the minimum to get free shipping. So all this stuff I just got from, showed from Jerry's Artorama was $35. So I think it was very reasonable. Okay, and this was also very well packed. So let's see what I got over here. So first off, I got this brush cleaner. And because I'm going to be doing using my oils more, so I definitely, even though they're water-soluble oils, you still want to make sure you wash your brush really clean because it does have the, the oil paint in there. It's just a different type of oil they use that's water-soluble, but it's still an oil. Um, and the funny thing is I got this at Michael's with 40% off coupon, and when I looked on the Blick website, this was actually cheaper than even, it was a few dollars cheaper than at Michael's with 40% off. So I'm returning the one to Michael's and I'm, you know, I got this one instead. So always, you know, shop around because sometimes the stuff that's on Amazon and at Michael's with 40, 50% off, Jerry's Art Arama and Dick Blick have it cheaper even than, um, than those two places. Um, I got this metal eraser that's double hold, or not eraser, <laughs> a pencil sharpener. Um, it's two holes. It's pretty heavy, actually. It's like, I don't know what it's made out of, but um, hopefully it's good for, oh, here it is, mop head. It's something mop head. Um, hopefully it's good for pastel pencils because I do have a set of General's pastel pen pencils. Um, I got this. And I had bought enough there to get 10% off my order plus free shipping, so that was nice. Uh, so this is lead, it's Pentel 0.3 HB, because I have a 0.3 pencil and I used up all the lead in it and I didn't apparently have any 0.3 refills. And then I also got also HB 0.3 Stedler. So they're the same thing, they're both 0.3 HB. Um, I think this was a dollar something and this was maybe a couple dollars or something. So I just wanted to get both just to see if there was a difference in quality and see if I liked one more than the other. And if it doesn't matter, I'll just, you know, get the cheaper one later on when I run out. Um, I got some of this tape for watercolor painting. And this was actually also cheaper at Dick Blick than it was at Michael's with, you know, with a coupon. So plus it was you know, better quality, hopefully, because Michael's only had the Michael's brand, which I'm kind of iffy about. <laughs> so I figured I might as well get it a little bit cheaper and a more known brand. Um, so I got that there. I got this. Yay! <laughs> One of the things I'm actually excited about because this is kind of, all these other things are more sort of necessities, whereas this is more of like a little splurge. Um, I'm not going to say I absolutely need a new sketchbook, but, um, and once again, this was cheaper at Dick Flick than it is on Amazon even with the Amazon, you know, lower discount price or whatever, this is still cheaper on Dick Blick. This is the Handbook Journal Company, and I really wanted to try this one because supposedly it takes pretty much all media pretty well, and even light watercolor washes, even though it's a sketchbook, and it's square, so I thought it was like so cute. It's five and a half by five and a half, which is a really good size. Like here's my hand. So it's a really good size. It's not too heavy, but then and it has this like super cute elastic and I picked a green cover. It's kind of an olive green. Uh, 
you can open it pretty flat. So because it's square, you get kind of either, you know, a rectangle that's not too long and thin because it's, you know, just 10 by five, well, 11 by five and a half. So it's not too thin of a rectangle, but it's pretty big when you, if you use both sides. And let me see the paper. Yeah, that can, I can definitely see that taking a light wash. This is so cute. Oh my, oh, and it has a little bookmark too. Uh, and look at the, the the surface texture. It's um like cotton. It really feels nice. So cute. Yes, I like this one. I'm gonna definitely use that. Oh, I got a little um, pamphlet about the brush cleaner stuff. So that's nice. Okay, and then I got this just to try it. It's transparent watercolor ground. So, because I wanted to try maybe watercoloring on wood or canvas, or I even have this book that I found that I'm gonna use to transform into an art journal, um, like an old book um, to do an art journal on top of. And then if I wanna watercolor on some of the pages, I'm gonna use this. That's why they had different colors. They had white but I got the transparent one because if I use it on the book or on the wood, I don't want the surface to be white. I actually want to keep it, um, you know, I want to keep the surface color or texture or whatever. Um, so I, I'm going to try the white or I mean the transparent, see how I like it. And then, you know, if I love it, maybe I'll get the white one too at some point. Ah! Wow, that's really gloopy. <laughs> okay. So anyways, well, there I go, making a mess. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Got a little container here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a lonely little tube, but you guys see oh my gosh it's the moon glow from daniel smith i'm so excited to try it it's like so so gorgeous and everybody swatches and there i go opening it again maybe i shouldn't open it but oh, okay it's not too bad <gasps> yay oh my gosh i can't wait to try it okay and let's see what else i got oh I got two of these um, paper pads from Arch or Arches or however you want to pronounce it. I got cold, cold pressed. So these are just the 12 sheet um, paper blocks, not blocks, um, paper pads really, yeah. They're not blocks, so they're much, much cheaper than blocks, but they're still 100% cotton paper, so it's really a good deal. Um, I have a block that's uh, hot pressed, and it's smaller than this, and the blocks are so expensive. Um, whereas the paper pads are a 10 something on Dick Blick and Jerry's Artorama. They're more expensive everywhere else, so if you're gonna get them, I would say get them there. And I got the rough grain as well, just to try it. Um, if I, you know, absolutely love them, I can always get the blocks later, but right now um, I'm just going to start with the paper pads just as a try it sort of option. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked my haul. I know it's a ton of stuff, but it's all, you know, mostly it's all very, very practical, except I guess this is a little splurge, but I'll definitely use it, so it's a little bit practical, and then this... You know, this was sort of the the main splurge was um, this because I love getting sketchbooks. So, all right. If you guys have any questions or want a review of any of this stuff in more depth and detail, please let me know and I'd be happy to do that. And otherwise, I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.